Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of No to Facts. I was uh, sorry to say I had to put on two previous shows, but I was under the weather, and uh, probably somebody would, would say right now I should have been under a tombstone. That'll come sooner or later. Uh, I want to make reference to one of the emails I got, and it's totally confusing. It starts off with Beale School, Library, Sherwood, High School, uh, Westboro Grafton, uh, Chinese Buffets, SAC Park. Uh, 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 wh what are you trying to get at? What are you trying to get at? It's so mumbly here, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. But anyway, forget it, forget it, forget it, forget it. I get this magazine, North American Oil Pipeline, Oil and Gas Pipelines. They already hired Mr. Moss, I think you're a little late with what you're saying about the pipeline. They already hired a superintendent for this pipeline. It's in this book. Whether they get it started this year or next year, I don't care. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But it'll be in this book. And if it does, I'll read it for you word for word. But they already started. A, I mean, they already hired a superintendent. The approximate start date was going to be in... Uh, uh, where the heck is it? Sometime in April. But that's a far and few between. That's gone by. Uh, so I don't think that's, uh, I think they're just for forecasting the superintendent's name. He must be a good superintendent or he wouldn't be in this magazine. Anyway, back to my show. Ha, 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 ha. Today's show will be interesting with some, maybe, some sayings. And whatever. But in the meantime, I don't have a thing to say, a thing about a new police station. A water treatment plant, maybe, uh, maybe us, you can, you can see and read there, there nothing about what it's going to do to remedy the water problem. The water is still black, especially in Precinct 2. What's going on? What's going on? Are we the test phase? of your stupid water testing, Mr. Superintendent, Precinct 2. Precinct 2 always gets the shit end of the stick. Uh, enough is enough. Clear the damn water if you don't quit and let this damn town hire somebody who knows what they're doing. Oh, damn town. Re you, recently, I tied a piece of cheesecloth on the end of my shower head. I tied it securely because the shower has got a lot of force. And I put it on, I put it on for 15 minutes. On the bottom of the cheesecloth, there was, it was gray from all the rocks and the dirt coming through the line. I'm having it analyzed and see what it is. And if it's what I think it is, I'm gonna bring it up to you, Mr. Superintendent, and, and, and put it on your desk and let you fumble through it. Because that's all you do is fumble. Uh, uh, uh. You're, you're, you're nothing. The results hopefully will be back soon. Question, what good is a water treatment plant going to be? The water superintendent only knows how to say he's going to add more chemicals. Again, the selectmen are not, the, not, are not to suggest what might be done. They are not water commissioners. The, they can, that can handle the problem. The water commissioner is confused and cannot handle the water problem. Then is all, th then is all the problem going to be better? I doubt it. He's ruined it. It's going to get worse. I would suggest send all your cleaning products, bills, to the, the water department. I am, and I got an okay from the attorney general's office. I'm sending all my cleaning products to the water department. And believe me, you're going to pay for them. You think it's a joke, but you're going to pay for them. Nothing's funny anymore with this damn dirty water. You got poor people in this town going through crap like that. All the towns around us has got nice, clean, great tasting water. And it ain't gray either. How do you explain that, moron? Uh, 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 this problem is going to get better, yeah. I would suggest that all your cleaning products, bills, I'm sending mine to the water department. The water department where he stands far before any board, he makes up stories 
about what is being done. He's not convincing at all. Actually, he compounds the problem. It's time that he resigns and gets someone who knows what the hell is going on. Remedy the problem. But all, but all, but all you people do is complain and, and do nothing. The, the town manager, the poor guy, he gets information from boards that don't that lie. They feed him information that they lie. They make up stories. They make up stories. No wonder he's in a, no, no wonder he can't get to the rear the main crux of the problem. Get rid of it. Get rid of the superintendent, and you'll get to the main crux of the problem. Hire hire somebody that's been to a college, two or three, ten colleges. Who cares? Pay him good money. He'll get to the bottom of it. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, town manager did something about it, but I can honestly say uh, 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 the wrong people are on the board to tell him what's going on. He, he, how can he do anything? It's a big issue. It's a big issue. I am sure he's going to care when he finds out the truth what, what's going on with this. Uh, when, when, when people go to him, he, he, uh, they make up fairy tales on what's being done. First thing should be a new police station. Never mind schools. One lie after another lie after another lie. And water treatment plant. One lie after another lie. Put a halt to house and apartment buildings. When the builders say one bedroom, they mean one den. I mean, yeah, uh, two, two, uh, yeah. One bedroom, one den. That means three bedrooms. Give the school department more to create on, create more lies about attendance and stop them from stealing money and hiring people who know nothing. These people go before the school committee and lie about their credentials. What a disgusting, dishonest superintendent and school committee. We have, we have and complain about the tax rate. Can anyone pay taxes the same day the tax bill comes in in the mail? How many? 100, 200, 300? Three, three, 38,000 in town, if you say you can, come on my show and prove it. When, when they finish one project in this town, the day after, they're talking about another project. Don't you people understand? They're backstabbing you every chance they get. Every chance they get, they're backstabbing you. Uh, uh, uh. What a rotten, disgusting, backstabbing, greedy bunch of criminals we have at the town hall. Uh, uh, uh. Go to other town halls, attend their meetings. They know how to treat residents. I can't wait for the gas line to come through the town and the finance committee for its share of the, the, the deceitful people, especially Mrs. O'Connor and Mark Adler. Mr. Budenhagen is a gentleman through and through and through. He's a perfect gentleman. That board is a waste of anything and everything. When is the day I will have comment, com commentary of good people on all the boards and committees? I will keep away from anything that's not legal, honest. No wives talking to residents. Also, no one is a big show off. Is it, no one is a big shot or show off or too good, they think, for being on any board. What's wrong with being honest and good to people? Who goes before any and all boards? I can write the word this way because I can see big headed show off people who don't care about anybody except themselves. And that's the damn truth. They humiliate, they slander, and they, make, they try to make fools out of the people who go before them. They're the fools, the school department and the finance committee. They're the fools. The finance committee has been ruined for years by people like Mrs. O'Connor, Mark Adler, who just came on, I wish you'd drop off, and, a few of the, and that Sagelnik guy. All he knows how to say, if the townspeople don't like what we say, get another two and a half started. Why don't you put a two and a half in your backside? Oh, I jerk. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Also, no one is a big shot in the show. Of. They, think, they think for being on any board. What's wrong with being honest and good to people who go before any and all boards? I can write because I see it. I see it all the time. They know them. There's a lot of talent out there. Hire them so we cre could create a much better normal town instead of we have clowns backstabbers, liars, hateful, and let their position go to their head. If they do, they, they should be shot as far as, uh, uh, as far as the people who try to start the trouble with everything. 
the town manager, he's got enough on his mind. He can't see what's going on because the uh, the other boys try to cover up what's being what's actually being done. Nothing's being done. Okay, for instance, what's being done about the water? I'll bring it up again and again and again. If there's people in town, a whole precinct, or maybe 10 precincts, that's still getting gray water and sand and rocks in their water, how can that be improving the issue? I haven't seen him on TV saying one word. I haven't seen him send a newsletter around to everybody. Why don't the town send out a survey to the re all the residents of who's good, what board is good or bad and what the water super, what they think the water super is not doing. Why don't the town send out that survey on all the boards and all the committees and get, get, it, get it down once and for all? And then the town manager, at least he has a place to start. As far as I'm concerned, they can all jump off the lake bridge. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What am I doing is right because nothing for years, because nothing for years has never come out. More and more is coming out. More and more is coming out. There was no place for crooks, criminals, and people who are the, who are uh, destroying a town. No town or city is normal, but this town hates the residents and thinks of ways to screw them. Be but this town is the most rotten town in the whole state. Remember a police station was brought up how many months ago? Why isn't it, why isn't it on a drafting board, a police station? Why? Why isn't it on a drafting board? No. Can't depend on town meeting members for voting right. On, not, on nothing articles. Don't look at any of them, or any of the boards on the stage. Vote the way you want. If voting is to appease someone near you, it's a, it's, it's, it's a hell of a way to vote. You're spending your tax money. You're only hurting yourself and letting the board say, we won again. We, sli we slipped another one by them. I hope the gas line goes through the town hall, school department, and we've had enough no-nothings in town on the boards and committees. The best board in the, in the town is planning and zoning. They're on, they are on board with the way they treat people, especially the planning board. Again, the school department is the, the rotten to the core. And you people listen to them and they should, you, should, you, you should all resign. Now before a lot of people, young kids get screwed, especially special needs, the school department steals all their money. When is it, when is it going to end? I will do do these shows forever if you have the guts to shoot, if you have the guts, shoot me. I could care less, but the officials only find a way to jack up the tax rate, listen to, to his, to his uh, baloney from the school department. They should all resign ASAP. Between them and the finance committee, we have a bunch of dishonest, phony, show-off people working as, as uh, working. Wake up, people, wake up, people. Defend your children. Defend your till children. You want them to have a good education? Well, you're not going to have them with the administration you got in there now. They're all thieves and crooks. Uh, uh, they're spending your money like water. And people giving money to the library, donating money to the library and school department. You people are deranged. You're deranged in the head. You're sick. There's something wrong with you. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, 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 uh. They, cannot re they cannot respond to a good education for the children. They have no intentions about finding out. Sawyer and O'Connor should move out of town. They have no right on any board except the dumb and stupid board. We need street cleaners and, and stop wasting water, you stupid ingrates. If I end this show, the people I mentioned should, should, should go away to China. I will do this show until I die. Someone must tell the truth, not cover up anything. Enough, have been, enough has been covered up. And, and I, in the past, someday I will tell you all. I have more papers about things that happened in this town 
you'll, you'll go crazy when I tell you this stuff. And I can back it up too. I can back it up too. The biggest fraud, the biggest fraud in this town, one of the biggest fraud, was Donahue Rowing Center and Floral Street School. The biggest, the two biggest frauds. There's been a million frauds in this town. But those are the two biggest ones. Uh, send everyone a survey how the town is run. All boards, committees also stop those shows between O'Connor and the town manager. She is just nosy and must know what goes on. I will not do, I will not do her no good. It will not do her no good because she doesn't understand anything just being a big shot to no avail. Uh, I think I said enough on that, but remember people, you got to start talking about a police station. You got to send letters to the selectman, town manager, and all concerned about you need a new police station. And do not mention schools and water treatment plants because we don't need them. If we have this water superintendent, we have now, excuse me, on a water treatment plant, it'll be a disgrace. We'll all die. We'll all die. There's more and more sick people now with kidney and liver problems in the hospital. Why don't you go check the hospital? Why don't you go check the hospital? Go check the, what do you call it, the resources department. Go check them and go ask your own doctor if he's associated with St. V's. They'll tell you the truth. And they're all from Shrewsbury. That's the worst part. Uh, ha, ha, ha. And send all your cleaning product bills to the water department. I got four bills going up there. And if they dare, dare to send me a letter, they, they, those letters are going to the AG. And let the AG collect the money. Let the AG collect the money from them. Because they're horrendous, they're useless, and they're stupid. They don't know nothing. They don't know a damn thing. Uh, anyway, I wanted to present something on the, on the show that I think is very, very uh, useful. It's where, where, where different names of things have come from, the origin. The origin of uh, the word window. Early NAS homes were simply designed and often included a stable and area for livestock under the same roof and humans in the winter because they tightly shut. You know, uh, trapped stale air and smoke from windows from indoor fires. They built holes high in the walls and roof for vents. And these openings were called winds. Wind's eyes. When the British copied this practice, they modified the wind's eye to window. Uh, uh, uh. I got this out of a very book that tells, oh, there's a million things in it, and I think it'll be very interesting to some people. If you don't want to listen to it, go stick your hand and head in a pail of water and a bucket of sand, and go put on Mickey Mouse for your grandchildren to watch instead of me. Uh, uh, uh. Where did the name toilet come from? This is a good one. Toilet seems uh, seems an odd name for the bathroom's plumbing fixture, but it makes sense when you consider that since the 17th century, toilet was a lady's dressing room. The other business was done in a uh, outhouse where when a lavatory became part of the 19th century. The room changed its, changed its main purpose. Uh, why? Why is the family man achiever called a black sheep? Men, most families have at least one embarrassing loafer who is referred to as a black sheep. A black sheep is considered worthless because its dark wool cannot be dyed in very little market value. Why do we say hello when you answer the phone? The first work, the first word used to answer the phone was, uh, ha, ha, ha was, uh, let me see who this is. Was, uh, this was in the maritime state of Connecticut. Alexander Graham Bell invented answers with, a, with Gaelic. Hey, but at the time, the Thomas Edison greeting of hello and ex exclamation of surprise 
dating back to the Middle, a middle Ages. I get these phone calls every day, uh, people. Sorry to bother you with them, but my phone is used 27 hours a day. I get more phone calls than Trump. An exclamation of surprise dating back to the Middle Ages that caught on, so we answered the phone with hello. Where, why are men's buttons on the right and the woman's on the left? Decorative buttons first appeared around uh, 2000 BC, but, uh, but were not commonly used as fasteners until the 16th century. Most men are right, right-handed and dress themselves. They find it easier to fasten their buttons right to left. Wealthy women were dressed by servants who found it easier to fasten the lady's clothes if the buttons were on her left. It's, it's, uh, bec it's because uh, commercially it never has been, never, never have has been changed. Why do boys wear blue and girls wear pink? I hope this is kind of interesting. Better than me yelling and yelling and, and going crazy. Why do boys wear blue and girls wear pink? The custom of dressing b baby boys in blue be began around the 1400s. Blue was the color of the, of the sky and therefore heaven. It was, it was believed it would ward off evil spirits. Males were considered a greater blessing than girls. So it was assume, assumed the demons had no interest in girls. Uh, so it was ashamed, assumed the demons had no interest in girls. It took another hundred years before girls were given red as a color, which was later a softer pink. Uh, what is a... Why is someone deceptive said to, to be blowing smoke? If some, that's what they do in this town. We get a bunch of blowhards in this town. If, if someone's blowing smoke, they're bragging and, br and bringing worthless proof to back it up. The expression comes from magicians who often were, were smoked to the even over side of their hand. Their trickery is dishonest and concealment. Smoke and mirrors has taken the same origin. Why do, why do we say right, uh, right on the nose? Why, why do we say right on the nose? On the nose didn't come from a horse racing, it came from the radio. Several common hand gestures came from the early days of the radio where elaborate productions required, uh, turn the page, director in the studio to be able to communicate without speech instead they use hand signals cut a forefinger uh, cut a forefinger was was slashed across the throat holding up the forefinger touching the thumb meant good show touching the nose meant perfect timing it was on the nose where did the word dollar come from in 1516 a silver mine opened in Germantown uh, 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 sank sank I can't think of the name in Germantown somewhere in Germany in which Czech Republic, St. Saint, Saint Johem was the husband of St. Anne, the father of the Virgin Mary. The German word means valley, and the town means known as Thaler. The silver coins reminted from the silver mines were called Thalers, which by 1600 had translated to English as dollars to describe the German coins or any foreign currency. Why do we call a dollar a buck? The Indians, the Indian, uh, uh, saw, why, why do we call a $10 bill a saw buck? Among the many slang expressions for money have originally a mild curse referring to the devil. When the $2 showed up uh, in dice or cards, the Yiddish fin for a five saw buck, $5 saw buck for a 10 came from the frame of a saw buck or a sawhorse. Makes sense. The, f the frame rested on two X's. Uh, 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 shape supports that resembled two, two Roman men for 10 found on the American $10 bill. Uh, 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 uh. Where did the money, where did the word cash come from instead of money? The history of money is fascinating title word. Money is Latin for moneta, from the Hebrew word weight, or coins. It is referred to as 
in the Bible as, as to manish the word cash entered English by the late 16th century. It's from the word cassie, meaning money box. Cashin means treasurer, which has given up the word cashier, its abbreviation cash. What is the difference? What is the differing opinion called your two, well, your two, your two, oh, your two cents worth? If someone speaks up out of turn or forcefully inserts their unsolicited opinion, we say he gave his two cents worth. This, this expression dates back to the late 19th century when if you wanted to write, again, write an opinion to the editor of a newspaper or complain to a member of the legislature, the cost of the mailing letter was the price of a two-cent stamp. The two-cent stamp became an Americanism of bitter value, little value. Why is copper penny called a red cent? In 1859, the U.S. Mint introduced a new 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 uh, one cent coin and its face was an Indian head because it's copper nickel alloy in time. The penny turned red combined with the slang reference to the Native Americans as redskins. The expression red cent was born in 1864. The copper nickel alloy was replaced by bronze but the expression lived on. Why do we say that someone who inherited wealth uh, was born with a silver spoon in their mouth. If someone was born with a silver spoon, it means that he was born into wealth rather than earned it. There, the expression comes from an old custom of grand, grand of godparents giving a spoon to a child uh, at its christening to signify the responsibility for nourishment and will bring it, bring it if they were wealthy. The spoon was usually silver and if not would be pewter on tin. Why is money called dough? Dough is a mixture of dry ingredients needed, needed, uh, needed in water, shaped and baked as bread and pastry. Around 1851, while on their way from, from classes, British schoolboys would often spend their pocket money on, sh on sweets or baked dough. When the allowance ran out, they would ask their parents for more dough money. Soon the two words became interchangeable and money became dough. Citizen soldiers were called dough boys. During the First World War, because they were raw recruits, a requiring of kneading and shaping to end up a fighting man. Why, why do we say someone is well healed? Uh, this is the last one, ladies and gentlemen. Before cockfighting was banned in 1849, the birds were awful f often fitted with Sharp steel spurs giving them an advantage in mortal combat, well healed. Then around 1880, the term became to mean anyone who was rich and who came, who was, could, could overcome by any obstacle with money instead of a weapon. Well, I'll have more for that if you like it. If you don't like it, refer to it by email and tell me I'm full of baloney. Or get a gun and shoot me. I don't care what you do. So thank you for listening tonight, and uh, see you next time.